Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the final match in Yu-Gi-Oh! Overdose's third Dueling Network tournament. I'm joined today by Alan Pennington and Simon He. Why don't you guys say hello? Hello, guys. Good morning. Uh, I'm it is, it's morning here, too, now. Uh, anyway, so uh, this final feature match is uh, pitting Yuki Zaninovich against Elijah Gersten. Uh, Yuki Zaninovich, for those of you who remember from our first Dueling Network tournament, was the winner there. He won with Waters then. And Elijah Gersten, in that same tournament, top four. And uh, here he is. And they're both playing wind-ups. Anyone have any thoughts about that? Yeah, uh, someone's getting shot mustard already. What did you say? <laughs> Someone's going to get shot mustard already. Oh. Uh, well, it looks like this guy on the bottom is just... Yeah, that's, that's Yuki. Yeah. That is Yuki Zaninovich. Sure. The, the difference between their two decks, by the way, these are not just straight-up comparable wind-up decks. Uh, I, Alan, I don't know if you've been following the tournament all day, but... Uh, <laughs> not at all, I just got on. Right. Well, I'll tell you that uh, Yuki's using... Uh, a different sort of wind-up deck. It side decks into Fire Fists. So he tries to mitigate the uh, the, sure. oppo the opponent's side deck cards of... Uh, yeah, like, yeah, like the rivalries and goes-ins. Right. Does he mean any 10 keys? Yes, of course. He means one. Uh, oh, he means one. I, I, it, it was funny. I actually made a, a post on Duel of Scrappings recently suggesting that wind up's main three ten keys and then main one bear and one gorilla the idea that it's like a normal wind up deck except you have tutorable like removal i so, i uh what, what he's doing is kind of similar i suppose you know what it's very um appropriate that you're a, a co-commentator on this feature match uh for that for that reason i did see that post on duels grounds where you suggested uh alternate uses uh for tenki uh this actually um came up this um uh yuki's deck actually came up between a conversation uh i had with him last night where we talked about a very similar thing we didn't talk about main decking the bear and the gorilla because we didn't like uh uh the idea that uh you could just draw them without any fire formation cards or anything like that uh but well, then i mean that's not that's not the end of the world you know, you just summon them, attack over something, and then search a ten key. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I mean, I get that. That's, I mean, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. But the whole point was that when you transition into this, you, you do have the opportunity to get around the rivalries, uh, and that's exactly what happened in the. Uh, I don't know, if, I don't know if you know Yugi Zaninovich. He won the first first tournament. He played against Giovanni Del Moral, the winner of the second tournament, twice today in their first feature match in Swiss. Uh, he beat Giovanni two zero. He was able to win that second game because Giovanni was drawing dead rivalries and DDVs. Yeah, uh, sure. That makes sense. The thing about yeah, it's, these... Yeah, it's definitely not a bad idea. And um, also, the opponent might side in Maxi against the uh, the wind-up deck, and it doesn't really do that much against the Fire Fists. Right. The, the, issue, with, the issue with this uh, strategy, and it always has been, was just... I don't know what it's called, but where you just side in the completely new deck. Um, Transformational sideboard. Yeah, seems a bit wordy. <laughs> they, once people figure it out, it, it ha I think it'll only work for like the one tournament. You know, towards the late later rounds in a premier event, in a massive event, when people will, will start figuring it out, it, it kind of becomes a dice roll where you're trying. You know that they know, so they're trying to guess if you're going to do it or not. And at the same time, yeah. you, you have to make sure that you're doing the right thing as well. So if you do if you do the wrong thing, then you ca you kind of at a disadvantage because you, you don't really have any other side deck card to counter what um, their stuff that's sided in for you if you choose. That that's a fair point. Looking at this match here, uh, obviously, uh, sorry, I don't know any of these guys' names. The first person opened up Shockmaster Nuts, called spells a two back row. The other guy also opened Magician Shark, but like none of the guys' back rows even did anything. Yeah, and yeah. he's even saying, what are your sets? I'm so confused. Oh, uh, like an MST and Starlight Road or something? I suppose. Although, no, he doesn't want, I, yeah, I think MST. a lot of wind-up players are too afraid to just not call Monster Effects turn one. Like, imagine if yep. clearly he had no back row to protect his play, so why are you calling spells 
over monsters. Yeah, you're like, right. Absolutely. Like, I, like, sure, you get you lose to Dark Hole, but like, what's greater, the odds that they have Dark Hole or the odds that they have Magician Shark or Tour Guide Shark? Like, obviously, it's not even close. Mm-hmm. It says could also be one of them could be a Mirror Force since he won many Mirror Force. I bet one's a Heavy Storm. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. It could be a Mirror Force. Do we know if he plays Mirror Force? Oh, uh, no. Um, Mirror Force and Heavy Storm. All right, well, fair enough then. What is Swad's out? So, was it two factories? Did I just see two factories? Yeah, two factories. He couldn't use them because of Shockmaster. Oh, okay. Right. Although he didn't have to necessarily set them. Well, this is quite a surprise. Yeah. This is pretty much game. Right. I'm, a. Uh, you know, I, I'm kind of uh, shocked that Yuki uh, didn't call monster effects, like you were saying. That's just, that was such a... Yeah, well, I guess he feels well I have the mirror force in case things go badly. But you have to consider, do these guys know each other's deck lists? Yeah. Oh, do they? Uh, well, I mean, they've been watching each other all day. Oh, so they don't, like, know each other's deck lists, but no. they might, like, have an idea. Right. Yeah. They, they might know. Right. So, so I guess... So... He, Elijah might have very well known that he was playing some number of mirror forces, which is why he made the Tyrus Maestro. Yeah, it was a good choice. Yeah, and of course, Giga Brilliant's going to be game. Mm-hmm. He doesn't run any cores or try or anything like that. So Yeah, I mean, wind-ups generally don't. I don't think that's very good. You know... Not for nothing, but uh, Elijah is playing really fast. He's showing that he's very comfortable with this deck. Um, yeah, I mean, he has been playing it the entire format. Right. That's uh. I mean, it speaks. It speaks well on his behalf. Sure. All right. So I guess the question now is, uh, do you guys think that Yuki? Oh, well, actually, you know what? I think in our our last feature match, uh, we kind of established that. Or at least we think that. Uh, you... I think in the wind up mirror, you just keep all your cards right. in. Right. Uh, well, I mean, that that's actually another good point. The other thing I was going to say was, when you're going first, there's no better turn one play than Magician Shark. So keep in right. the wind-ups in hopes of having that pan out uh, is better than anything you could do with uh, Fire sure. Fist. Uh, but uh, I think that's if also anything, been... I think it's worth discussing how Elijah will side. Does he side as though... He's playing against windups, so that he's playing against fire fist. Right. Yeah. And frankly, I have no idea what's in his side deck, so I, I can't really comment much. Well, I, I can share that with you. Um. Or oh wait. Um. Actually, I can't right now. The tension's killing me. I want to see what they decided to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you can just imagine the chat box between them now. As soon as like, as soon as like uh, a bear comes down from um Yuki or something. You just see, you just see Elijah like, damn it, god damn it, no. You know, uh, some people are saying that he should have called Monster Effects, and I I mean, I think it's easy to say he should have done that in hindsight, but... uh, Yeah, it is easy to do. Yeah, but if he had had the Dark Hole, you know, everyone would have said, you're an idiot for not calling spells. Sure. When you're under pressure, most people... It's hard to say there, it's safer, because... I mean, if you know that he's going to make Tyrus Maestroke, then it's pretty obvious that your Mirror Force isn't going to do anything. But if you expect him to make some other plan or Mirror Force just blows him out, then calling spells is really good. Yeah, that's true. Well, it seems like he kept in the wind-ups. Okay. Yeah, so, he, so it would appear. So, some number of wind-ups yeah. at least. Okay, he, he just kept in the full wind-up deck. Which I think is definitely the correct thing to do there. Right. I want to see. I really want to see Spike Tower's face right now. <laughs> Smash it. Gosh, Elijah draws really well. Yeah, just just heavy storm set two pass. Got to get that factory off the field. Yeah. Before it gets out of control. Wow, you know what I just noticed? 
uh, for for a while there, I was just thinking there were sixty watt sixty four watchers. You know there are one hundred and sixty four watchers. Yeah, I don't actually think I've ever seen a match with more watchers before. I, I've seen a lot. I've I've been in games where there've been like a hundred and ten ish watchers, but never seen one sixty four. Good stuff. Also at one thirty in the morning. Yeah, sure. I'm six thirty in GMT time. You mean the irrelevant time? No, the GMT time is um, it's the central time. Did you guys notice this misplay here? Uh, you're saying when that he went to rabbit in the main phase when he could have rabbited in the, the end ma- phase and right. avoided failure. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think that's the second time Yuki. Did... You know what? Also, I bet I bet the. Uh, you know, he's just tired and it's getting to him. Because there's no way that yeah, I think I that mean, you could play like that all day. We've played a lot of rounds at this point, but a misplay is still a misplay regardless. It is, it, and it's worth noting. It it's definitely worth noting. I have a feeling, like, you can sense that if you watch his previous matches, you before Yuki's just kind of thinking hard and stuff, and now he's going right. through all his turns. I, mean, I just want to It's see. still a very close game, despite the fact that he misplayed. Of course. Although, I don't like this MST here either. Like, you're only getting one out of three back rows. And personally, when I play wind at mirrors, I always try to save the MSTs for the factory. Because yeah. that's, like, the most important card. Of course. Especially, like, when, when your rabbits come back, it's not like, you know, even if you really did need it, it's not like it's going to be torrential or warning or anything like that. Right. Okay, well, there's the, the 10 key. Which is... I was gonna. Of course, he has MST, but had it resolved, it would have been very good there because he would have had two windup rabbits, and then his rabbits would have been bigger than his opponent's. That would have been very clutch. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't even think of that. That's good enough. Uh, <laughs> so now we're gonna see some some stuff here. Yeah, get magician rabbit remove the rot shenanigans. Uh-huh. Well, it's just a matter of what uh, Elijah has. If it's anything like, uh, or if this keeps going anything like it has been going, I bet she's got a torrential down. Yeah, I mean, if he did torrential, it wouldn't be the Still end of the world. Right. Yeah. True story. Never mind. I take it back. I'm trying to think about what he could possibly have. Yeah. Looks bad. He banishes rat, so even if he has, if he torrentials, he still has the rat coming back next turn to of course, yeah. restart the action. Any reads here? Any, any anybody want to say venture any guesses about these face downs that we're looking at? Um, it's too early in the morning to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. This is also the first match I've watched either of them play. So like last game, I didn't even know that the guy was playing Mirror Force, for example. Right. Well. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I kind of forgot when they actually sat them and what situation they were in. So no reads. I wouldn't be surprised just to point out that uh, when Elijah set three, he set a dark hole and a typhoon. I wouldn't read too much into that face down. No, Elijah didn't set. Elijah set a dark hole on another turn. He, he set a dark hole last turn. All right. Well, even still, even still, I'm saying he has a, a an affinity for setting. I, I I have less confidence in that. That that's def. I'm not going to say that that's definitely a trap. It doesn't seem to be TC at all. Yeah. So let's see what he's running. I mean, if he has TT, I mean, I I guess his opponent plays Road, which I yeah. I don't. It's but dull. even though that's the case, I would okay. still activate TT even if you have it, like, because it it's one Road, like you had to do something. Okay, it's be yeah. risky. Right. No. The thing is, if it's um TT and he's scared of Starlight, I think he would have actually. Drawing some of that stuff that Yuki was doing, he would have asked them to wait. You know, he would have shown some sign of thinking mm-hmm. rather than just like, yeah, okay, that's fine, that's okay, that's fine. Now. Yeah, sure. See, I don't even think Yu- Yuki or whatever, I don't even think he has the road. Because obviously, if he had it early on, he would have like set road in a ton of back rows, and then when Elijah used heavy, he would have had the road there. So he would have had to like draw into it like yeah. in one of these first couple of turns. When you guys have road, if you guys draw road in the opening hand, 
with let's say a solemn warning, um, a mirror force and torrential, what, what what would you set? I mean, I, I just said everything. I'm sorry. You just said everything. I was the reading the feature. The... I mean, I was reading the watcher chat. Would you say? No, I, I'm just curious because I was thinking about this recently. It, let's. Um, I can't really think of a deck example, but let's just say in a general deck, you, you your opening hunt is and you're going first. You draw Starlight Road, Solemn Warning, D Prison, something, and um, Mirror Force, uh, uh, Torrential. What would you set? You would not set all of them? Uh, yeah, I don't think I would set all of them. Either. It's too predictable. Why? You scared of MST? Hit your road? Activate heavy? Uh, no, no, that, that's, not, that's not it. Like, whenever someone does that to me on turn one, without even thinking about it, I'm just like, okay. Okay, you're not going to heavy. Or a road, I'm right. not going to heavy storm you. I'm gonna play yeah, around. That's, All right, that's so, fine. I mean, that's the great thing about road. Like, just being able to threaten it is good enough. Like, sometimes you don't even need to actually activate the card. Right. Yeah, that, that's true. So, just to be clear, what well, all you're really asking is, uh, is it worth having the utility of having four different traps down that I can use? All right, time to see if he has the road here. Or I don't think he does. I don't think he has it. Neither do I. Um, but. Uh, yeah. See, he has never the road. Right. Uh, so, uh, what I was going to say is, uh, Simon, your question of, you know, how many of these traps if uh, would would I, would I set, set, I think what you're asking is, um, is it worth having the utility of having four different traps down, which are applicable in different situations, versus resolving the Starlight Road? And yes. Yeah, you're right. That is exactly it. I think I prefer the utility. You prefer the utility on turn one? Uh, you think they're gonna go that nuts? I mean, we just watched uh, a game where both players yeah, back to back I, I wins. Think gonna, I think you're gonna lose a lot more games by not setting all of them. Right. Then you'll lose by like. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you'll lose by setting all of them and then like being really careful and stuff. Wow. Right. So then Yuki definitely has upper yeah, hand this I mean, match. It, it's going to be very hard for Yuki to lose this game. Yeah. And although Elijah called him bad because he like went to his torrential, like it wasn't even like that it wasn't even that bad card economy. Like he still had the rat removed, like and now he like at some point he's going to use the torrential, so you might as well just get it out of the way now. And then, you know, not have to worry about it in future turns. So I actually so far I think all of Yuki's plays have been fine this game, with the exception of the turn where he uh, got Valor. his magician Valor. Yeah, that was he didn't silly. He was playing the end phase. That was silly. Wait, what? Well, he's attacking for six and then switching rat to defense, targeting rabbit. Oh, uh, he's playing that safe. Yeah. Which is fine. Uh, I mean, yeah, as I mean, opposed his to play seems fine. yeah, as opposed to what are you gonna do, Leviathan and pop a hit for twenty five? This seems way better. Chain, chain, please for the love of God, chain. <laughs> what, if you don't chain, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unless he has MST or something. Yeah, or maybe he's. I bet he actually has Solemn Judgment, and he's thinking of whether he should Solemn Judgment in the factory. He said, I okay. definitely would not. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't either, but I, I think that's what he's thinking of. If he has Solemn Judgment, then he definitely should have went into Leviathan and just started poking. Yeah, that, yeah that, that's, that's possible. true. Um, but, uh, quick question. Is there a reason not to chain the rabbit there? Absolutely. No, there, there, there's not. Um, for the rot. Even if you're not going to use the effects next turn, I mean, I, I right, still... might as well. Oh, and I was I was timed out here. I always forget to post in the watchers chat. I mean, he could still do this in his draw phase, and he still only ever gets the one surge. But I mean, I'm I'm worried that he might not do that. Oh, never mind. I take it back. He didn't do it in the draw phase. Maybe he can kill him this turn. It's possible. So wait, what did he do? He he did it in the draw phase. So I mean, he still. Uh oh. Either way, that, if he that doesn't seem very good. 
Well, it doesn't really matter. I, I mean, uh, let me back up. I would, I would have just overlaid for a rank three and not let his opponent get a factory surge. I mean, that's fine too. I, I mean, like, you're so ahead, like, just play it safe. Don't give your opponent more cards. Unless yeah, it's game. Oh, I guess he's just dead. Yeah, that's definitely game. Acid Golem and Leviathan. Anyone want to check if he ma he runs the Acid Golem? I mean, I have to assume you're running the Acid uh, Golem. Uh, he does. Okay. All right then. Right, right. Because you you put Rat to attack, put it to what's? I don't understand what he's what he's doing here, but maybe I'm I'm just missing something. He's just gonna go into. Acid oh, Golem? I guess he could go into Le Levier, maybe. What? Stop! No. What are you talking about? He's gonna turn the rat to attack. Huh? He's gonna turn the rat to attack and then turn it to defense and special shark. Yeah, then all three of his monsters will be in defense, and that's not enough damage. What are you talking about? Then you just X Y Z them. Yes. Okay. And that's why like game. Yes, and he can turn the rabbit to attack. Looks like it's going to game three. Right. Oh, That's right. exciting. The rabbit to attack, okay. That's exciting. Oh, yeah. I'm taking a screenshot of that. I've never seen 171 people in the match before. Okay, would you guys, if you were, if you're Yuki, would you side in the five first now? No, that no, you're going second. Against windups. Um, he doesn't actually side or main any uh, hand traps either. Personally, I would just keep the windups in. I mean, obviously, you're going second. You're not favored, but I I think you're equally not favored regardless of whether it's windups or fire fist. You know, that's a and good yeah. Sorry. I remember Chris telling me the other day that the main advantage that. Firefist has against windups is being able to side in cards like Rivalry of the Warlords and Deck mm -hmm. Devastation Virus, which Yuki doesn't have, right? Right. Yeah, so, I would definitely agree with that. So, uh, so Chris, you, you would agree that you would keep in the windups here? Uh, yes, I would keep in windups. Okay. It's also right. that he might side, um, his opponent might side in his free overworked and become absolutely useless. <laughs> That'd be so. He's citing three overworked. For or is that just like a hypothetical thing? You don't actually. No, know. it's actually three overworked in Elijah Cider. Uh, that seems a little excessive. Yeah, I think. Too well, strong. I guess you know if, if you really think Fire Fist is a bad matchup, then it should be. It should be. Um, why not versus Fire Fist? It should be in Fire Fist's favor. Sure. You know, I'll tell you this right now. With the way Elijah's drawing all tournament. I mean, if you're Yuki, you've got to be sitting there and saying, well, I know he's going to open up Shockmaster. Do I want to try to answer that with Fire Fist, or do I want to try to answer that with Windows? <laughs> well, I don't even think Fire Fist answers that that well, because if you go Shockmaster, that's the point. Spells. That's the point. Oh, okay, all I right. I would sooner go with Windups for that reason. Right. Maybe pull a Tyrus Mace Stroke on him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, here we go. Is there a shark coming? He might not have a shark. Maybe he has factory. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, I guess he just has shark. No, he can still drop the uh the factory now. Yeah, he could. Nope. Nope. There we go. Here we go, boys. Maybe he'll just get magician and defense and pass. Oh. oh. He's gonna grab it. This is an awful play. Wait, what? Oh. He, he, he has a tanky. He has a tanky. Calm it down. Okay, okay, he's jumping us now. Sure. So how many tankies is Elijah playing? That's a good question. Simon, you want to answer that? He's playing... Wait, what? Why is Elijah playing tankies? I didn't even realize he was playing just tankies. Just to be a fourth wind-up rabbit. Elijah played two tankies. Oh, okay, so he's basically playing five wind-up rabbits. Which, I, by the way, I like. I think that's the right number. Are any of you going to comment on his opening play? Oh, right. Uh, Wasted is that basic? Uh, well, I mean, it's not wasted if he can protect it. That's so risky. Um, that talker, he, he could have literally just went, 
10 key into Rabbit, something to Rabbit, set the back row And he has the tall guy for, yeah. big, for a bigger play. I mean, I, I don't know what his hand is. His, his play very well could be bad, but I have to think he has some kind of plan here by going into Carrier. I mean, I'm tempted to agree with Simon uh, just because you don't know... Like, you don't know what Yuki's answer to this is going to be. And it's like you... You could have just gone tanky in the rabbit, but instead he went Zen Mady in the rabbit in the hopes of doing it twice. But if that's for like a protection card, he could just save it sure. and protect the tor the Zen Mady even later. I'm not. I'm, sure. I mean, he he could he, he could walk into. It's also it's also possible that he has like an avarice in his hand or something, uh, and then if his carrier dies, he, you know, uh, he'll have yeah. Plenty, plenty no, yeah, I, targets, I, I hear know. you. Uh, maybe. But, uh, I, I just think that regardless of whether it's a good reason, I think Elijah probably has a reason for his play. We'll see now. Uh, we'll see now with this tall guy. Yeah. If he comes here, the... here, I'd have to think that he's going to go into Zen mains, ram with the carrier. Which, by the way, I don't understand why he put his carrier in attack mode for yeah. that reason. So yeah. awkward. Okay, so yeah, so that's like potentially two by plays. Yeah. Not for nothing then, but I mean that telegraphs lands to me. Um, so another tall guy to hunt. Yeah. Okay, sure. so maybe, maybe he is a shark of his own. That's awkward. Really shouldn't be too unsure. He said should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. Uh, the only the only explanation is if it if it's too unsure, then there's no reason to go to Zemezi apart from your part of Avaris reasoning. But that must mean that he's so desperate to get this Avaris off that he's willing to sacrifice a tall guy for it. And it's amazing. Possible. Yeah. Yeah, Even, I'm I'm inclined to I think it's a deep prison. Yeah, yeah. Cause, Cause, what if? I mean, maybe I'm just thinking about this too hard. But what if he left his carrier in attack mode, knowing that his opponent would likely go Zen mains, and then he could deprison the Zen main? I don't know, man. I think that's too obvious of a play. I'm, I'm still thinking Lance. You guys, that, you that, that's, that's a little, finish. that's a little uh, next level there. But I'm still. sorry, so, Simon. What'd you say? You guys heard that it shouldn't be torrential, right? I said it shouldn't. Go yeah, yeah, no, I'm not saying yeah, you. We're, yeah, we're no. all we don't think it's torrential. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Is going so yeah. He's thinking he's probably. Whoa! Present. Does I don't know um, if he realizes that rabbits at four uh, fifteen. Oh, well, I yeah, guess he does realize he does. it. That's. Yeah, he does. Uh, what is going on? I have no idea. <laughs> like, well, if it's deeper, then he should have attacked the carrier first rather yeah. than at first. Oh. It's Lance. That makes sense. To you. That's why he left his carrier in attack mode. I mean, that doesn't make so, it necessarily better. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't. Sure, but it, it at least explains why it was in attack mode instead of defense mode. It doesn't make it better from either of them. Right. So he yeah. actually he literally brought out the Zemezi in the hopes that the Lions will protect it, and it did. Right, yeah, that I don't I don't like his play either, but it was like I said, you know, I don't think it, it, it's necessarily a good reason, but I think he has a reason. Of course, if Elijah just has like an MST here, he gets blown out. Or a Lance, he plays Lance as well. He makes Lance. I mean, I, I, I think most likely Elijah is going to win this game here. They both misplayed, but the misplays worked out in Elijah's favor. Dilly dally with the Zen Yeah, I, like, eh. I usually I I never use my Zen Mady like that. I I I wait until I can protect it or I can make a big push. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah.
You know that the tanky rap, um, Wonder Rabbit is actually really, was actually really annoying me the other day, because I was playing Dino Rabbit, and I tried to, um, attack with Dolka, I don't know, I wanted to make Dolka, but, uh, he had a rabbit and a tanky on the field, and he had a back row, and if that back row was anything like prison, or mirror force, and I had lance as well, I can't lance it, otherwise they just suicide. Right. That 15 really, really annoys me. Mm-hmm. any idea when the next tournament's gonna be two weeks probably probably and i'll probably make it a new format tournament just because i feel like people are getting a little tired of this one yeah i suppose because that'll be the 25th we should have the list by then it'll be the first the, the 24th actually is i forgot that we're already on monday Uh, but, uh, what you call it? I think that, that that would also be really good, uh, because it has the opportunity to set the tone for the competitive format. Yo. Oh, right, of course. People will use the results to decide what they're playing when the format actually begins. Right. right. The actual yeah. first premier event after the ban list is actually quite far away, the first. So there's going to be regional still. Oh, that's true, too. So he made a Bist Waller there, that was kind of interesting. I guess he he read the Sangin. Yeah, of course. But it's still risky because that back room. 176 watches. Yeah, 177. And counting. Maybe we can get up to 200. I think, I, I mean, I've been taking screenshots uh, every time I... 178. I, it, it's, it's been up to 183, I think. Nice. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with myself. Yo, get on that Facebook business and get it up to 200. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. You should post right now. I have like five Yu-Gi-Oh people on my friends list. You, you have like a, a billion. Well, there's a good chance that Yuki does something big here. He just reborn in addition. Right. I hope he talked about that reborn. LOL. He had it. If he had that reborn, especially when he had that tour guide, then oh my days. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Check your both magicians. So, I, I hope we see a Shockmaster here in one form or another. Yeah, same. You think he'll call Monster Effects? I, I would certainly hope that he does. I mean, given that he may not have anything to protect said Shockmaster. And I mean, Elijah hasn't been setting any back rows for the past few turns, so I mean, you gotta know he's he's holding, you know, a few monsters. Although it's possible he also might be holding Dark Hole, it's hard to say. Right. There hasn't really been an opportunity for Elijah to use a Dark Hole that would have cost him a lot. So yeah, he could definitely be holding Dark Hole. So, so what play does he do here? Does uh, Yuki run three magicians or just two? Yeah, I was say, because he could just get magician and grab it. Then. Yeah, or, or magician and shark or something. Yeah. Otherwise he could do something like, you know, get a rat in defense and paleo operative it. Or, you know, there, there's quite a few things he can do here. Is does he just have a way to kill him? Oh yeah, actually. At eight I mean, at eight thousand yeah. with a carrier in defense, I mean, I, I don't know if it's possible. I I haven't I've never really been a wind up master, but I figure there's a chance he could kill him.
So we could even do something here like rabbit, banish one of the used magicians, trigger the third magician, and then like, I don't know, love here back another magician or something like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't looking. Uh, is the, is uh, Elijah's rabbit banished by its effect? Yep. Well, that's neat. Yeah, he, he could just, I mean, uh, what, what he could have done was make, um, instead of getting the rabbit, he can make, get the rats, make the pop-up imperative. Yeah. And then end up with Shockmaster, Pat, and a face, and a defense mode, rat. And if it somehow survives, then he has to wind the rabbit to make the rat live again. Is sure. this not a Yes, you're saying get rat in defense instead of rabbit. Use the the two magicians instead of that. Use their effects already. Yep. And put the rat to attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rat to defense. Get back a guy. Trigger the third magician. Yeah, that seems pretty good. But he didn't do that. So yeah, what he can, what he's gonna do probably right now is yeah, do that. Get out. <sighs> Something. I'm sorry. Why can't he get a rat? Oh, I'm just third paying attention. Oh, okay, yeah, he's, yeah, okay, he's gonna do that now. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess here since he's doing this play, you could always just get. Whoa! What is going on? on? What's going on? He wants to reward his opponent's magician. Oh, I had no yeah. idea what was going on. That that's why I asked, is he playing two magician or three magician? <laughs> He's playing four magician. <laughs> this just it seems silly. It seems really suboptimal, to be honest. Because oh, I, I, I thought what he was going to do was go into Zen Meister, flip down a magician, and trigger the fourth. Yeah. But I, I, the rock move was definitely the best. This is just weird. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree with what you said. What? Uh, that he should have gone for the rat in defense. Right, yeah. <laughs> I like how Elijah says, I didn't use hole yet. Yeah, <laughs> it's him. Oh. You know what's funny? If I think there's a decent Elijah chance he has the hole anyway, and he's just trying to get yeah. his ultimate with yes. Steve. That's exactly it. Show like, me it. She's gonna dark. steal the dark hole and put him on tilt. Please. No, it's not a dark hole. He would have slammed that bad boy down. Oh! Yeah. Wow. Was that a top of card? It looked like one of the end ones. Wow. Then attack for 15. I said, oh, really loudly, but, uh, you know, wow. Talk about it. Well, that's interesting. Ha, he ha. sided for fire fists. <laughs> oh, okay, sure, that, that makes sense then. <laughs> that's funny. So now you make a levier, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that would make sense. Make levier, attack the rabbit. He'll probably let his rabbit die. Mm -hmm. It would be funny if Yuki has a rat, then all kinds of shenanigans will happen. Oh yeah, that's very true. I mean, yeah, we can't. We don't don't discount the fact that Yuki's got three cards in his hand. You know, this really looks like it's uh, Yuki's game to lose. I mean, uh, Elijah's Elijah spent his dark hole. He clearly doesn't have uh, a combo yeah, in his hand. This is pretty much Yuki's game. Man, this is about to be insane. He's about to win two of my three over Yuki overdose tournaments. That's wild. Oh my God, that two-time champion. Could you believe? Like, could you? Could you? I mean, that's not easy to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I'm quite surprised that so many of the, of the um, winners and the finalists are in this finalist as well. Are, are in the top four. Yeah. You know what you should do? You should start making trophies. <laughs> I mean, I can Photoshop one for you guys if that's what you want. Maybe. This is just insane. Can he, 
Wait, can he actually kill him this turn? I'm trying to think of that myself. Well, I mean, he's used a lot of his exceeds already, has me. He's only used two. What, just Carrier and Shockmaster? Uh, yeah, 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 I guess he can't, no, he won't be able to kill him with, with Carrier Gun. Okay. I'm really confused about a lot of his plays. Yeah, what? Whoa! Too. Oh, yeah, okay. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. He can still levy our main phase two. Yeah, he can. He can levy our main phase two. No, but uh. There's a chance that Swags might not realize. And plus, this is more damage anyway. No, I, I doubt. I'm, I'm sure he realizes it. Yeah. One eighty four, Chris. Yeah, no, I've already been up to 185. Yep, 185. Yep, he made a right move. Yeah, he did. <laughs> this is intense. You know, he really is just one shark magician away from coming back. Hello, Elijah? Yeah. That is so busted. That was a really good play. Yep. Uh, up until like three weeks ago, I didn't even know that those two guys could be used together. <laughs> that Temp Tempo would pump the Maestro, get Maestro, oh, okay. and save the sure. Temp Tempo. Oh, this combat is good. I'm, I'm still, Yuki's still my favorite for this game. Man, this is so back and forth, like I can't even take it. This is good for a final. You should be pleased. <laughs> I am, I am. Definitely, definitely. It's just not that great that one commentator is like almost dead. Can I... barely follow the game. No, I think I think we're all a little bit dead. It's two o'clock in the morning. Seven. Have you have you not slept? I, oh, you guess you haven't, right? Not my bad. <laughs> it's, I guess it's worse for you. All right, so I was just gonna go into some kind of rank five here. Or Utopia, yeah, I was going to say Utopia. And this really puts the hurting on uh, Yuki. Hmm. I don't really think so. I think Yuki's still fine. Well, I mean, I don't know. He's likely going to lose some part of his field. Right. Uh, he's, well, he has, no, he's not going to lose either of his guys. No, that's not true. He can lose, he's losing his Maestro. No, he can just, Maestro's going to, oh, sure, because his Tears has an effect, obviously. And, or let me rephrase, he's losing the Temptel, but he's losing the materials for Maestro, so Maestro's going to be ineffective. Oh, he's going to have Tempo save itself there. With Maestro's effect, right? Sorry? Tira's just killed Temp Tempo, right? And Temp Tempo had a material. He could have detached the material from Temp from Tem Tempo to save itself. No, Temp Tempo doesn't save itself. Maestroke says all Dijin monsters can save themselves. Like read Maestroke right now. Right, but like, it didn't have any materials left on it. No, it did. It had one material. Like, it didn't though. I just watched it. He got to, to, both of, both of those guys Look. attacked Maestroke. Huh? Both of those guys attacked Maestroke. Okay, and Temp Tempo had one material because they both attacked Maestroke. Right, and then in the end phase, Tyrus popped Temp Tempo. And he can detach.
detach the last material from tem tempo to save itself. Um, one sec. If it defaces, you can detach. Oh, I see what you mean. You're right. Okay, that was a misplay. I'm just pointing out that although the temp tempo would have been there with only zero materials and 2200 attack, it's still better than no temp tempo at all. I agree. Yeah, I mean, now, now Elijah just... Oh, okay, well, he has Dark Hole, so... <laughs> I was just about to say that Elijah wins, but... Yeah. Dark Hole will do that. How, what happened to the, the rat and rabbit? He made Tem Tempo with them. Oh my god, and he has Rabbit Factory. That's insane. No, no, I mean, I, 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 mean, I was looking away because I'm trying to get Simon back in the call, but uh, wasn't the... Wasn't the... Um, uh, the, the Wasn't there a rat that came back? I... I can't really remember. Uh, well, Yuki is almost certainly winning this game here. Yes. You think we can crack 200 before he finishes it? Oh, uh, 193, it's possible. If you want, I'll sign into all of my alternate accounts and break 200. LOL. I'm, I'm just <laughs> I actually don't have any alternate accounts right now. Sorry, boys. Technical difficulty. My route is so bad, it might as well. It's a torrential. All right, well, they just keep answering each other's stuff, but Yuki is definitely ahead. Yes, very much so. Oh, damn it, what I miss? Well, Elijah was... Elijah had a very good field, but his tears had zero materials, so Yuki just plopped down a dark hole and came back we with... Rabbit Factory is his last two cards. Wow. I think I think Elijah just scooped. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Time Time Gentlemen, yep. can, can we get a round of applause for Yuki Zaninovich? Two-time champion, baby. Two-time champion. Un unreal. Anyway. Uh, what are you calling the tournaments? The what? What are you calling your tournaments? Yugi okay. Overdose Dueling Network Tournament. <laughs> Short cut, so we can we can say he's a two-time blah 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 champion. I'm thinking about maybe YTS Yu-Gi-Oh Tournament Series or maybe Yu-Gi-Oh Online Tournament. Yotus. Yot so I don't know. Yotes. Yot I don't know. I don't know. I'll come up with something. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, yes, you just call it Yu-Gi-Oh Overdose Championships. Yos. Y O S. Say it again. You just call it Yu-Gi-Oh Overdose Champions. Why Why Y O C. Yak. Of uh, Y O S. I mean, you don't, you don't pronounce it. Like yeah, you just say. Oh, S E S O. He's a two time. Uh, ah. <laughs> two time Y O C champion, baby. Uh, well, something like that. Whatever it is, you know what? Listen, uh, I'm gonna fin I'm gonna cut this video off right now. Let's let's just say congratulations to Yuki Zaninovich for winning. Yugi Overdose's third Dueling Network tournament. In addition, let's just congratulate him again for winning his the first Yugi Overdose Dueling Network tournament. Is a certainly uh, a feat that everyone who participates in these tournaments from here on out will try to uh, try to ac accomplish themselves. Uh, separate from that, separate from that, I want to thank you, Alan Pennington and Simon He, for doing this with me. I appreciated having you guys. You guys just make you make this so much more enjoyable and uh, enriching to the community. And I'm glad yeah. to have you. Would love to have you back anytime. Oh, all right. Anyway, take it easy, guys. I will catch you soon. Simon, go to bed. Yep. Yeah, good night. Bye bye. Get some rest. Bye all.